Hey guys, we are here um, coming to you guys from our hotel suite. Dan is hooked up to his feeding right now, so we're not on safari. Um, my name is Sharon, and this is this is Dan, and we are together. Okay, how we roll. Beautiful, very nice how we roll. And we're here today to talk to you about the New Jersey Monthly Great New Jersey Scavenger Hunt. We're here to talk about one of the stops we made over the weekend. We, we were at the Carranza Memorial in Tabernacle, New Jersey. It was about, I guess, 35, 40 minutes from the hotel here in Mount Laurel. So it's not a terrible drive. Um, and it's an amazing, really cool story. The monument itself is really interesting. It's inscribed and it has a the image of an Aztec eagle on one side, which is beautiful, I think. Um, there are pictures right after the video that you guys can check out. It's a big concrete memorial, kind of stuck out in the middle of nowhere in Tabernacle. Um, harder pine barrens, so all the beautiful pines and all the things around us. Dan, what do you think? You're talking about the pilot, right? So the award is named after the, the monument, I'm sorry, is named after Emilio Carranza. He was a Mexican pilot, um, kind of on the order of like a, a Mexican Lindbergh or even Amelia Earhart. Um, he actually crashed in, in what is now Tabernacle in the middle of the pine bed. Emilio Carranza was a, was a, a real hero um, in Mexico. So school children in the schools across the country collected basically their lunch money and their pennies and, and things like that and put together the money to erect this memorial that actually I think almost all of them would probably never see, which I think is really interesting. Um, the memorial is made out of uh, granite that was quarried from Mexico near Carranza's hometown and hauled all the way to Tabernacle, New Jersey. Um, it has an Aztec eagle on one side and an inscription on the other. Um, It wasn't landscape per se, but there was a couple of interesting plants there. And of course, all the native pine lands um, plant material. We were there on Saturday, it was about 91 degrees, but it felt much cooler, like, like it does in, in a lot of the pine lands. It was a pretty neat trip. Um, I had never been, Dan, you've never been, right? So the whole story of it and all, um, we've only done two so far, but would you say this is our favorite so far? Yeah, I would agree. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh -huh. You too. On the way back, since we were out in the Pine Lands, there are a lot of uh, produce stands there, so we stopped and got fresh tomatoes and fresh corn, right? And flowers. Are you talking about the van? No, are you talking about the, the um, produce stick, uh, place we stopped at? Yeah, um, Dan's right, it was really big. It was like an official store, it had refrigerator cases. When I say farm stand, probably this is, you know, maybe a step beyond that, but it, they had amazing stuff. Um, some of us got homemade honey there. You know, I got the produce. Um, overall, it was a very, very nice trip. So enjoy the pictures coming up. Um, we're gonna be going to two, two new places this week. Not saying who, we haven't partially decided one of them. And we're gonna leave the other one for a surprise. So far, this um, scavenger hunt is amazing. It's, right? 
I, you know, I, this proves to be as good or better than last year, I think. Um, if you guys want to join us, you know, let us know and we can help you with directions or whatever. We don't, some of you guys have asked us when we were going. We don't always plan, we're not always sure, um, you know, how Dan will feel, what, you know, what the weather will be like. Um, Dan doesn't do, you know, do super well with the heat and I keep better refrigerated myself. So if it's going to be real hot, we're going to shift gears and go somewhere else. But um, we'll put on, we're going to start putting on Instagram when the day that we're going, just in case you guys want to, on a flight of whimsy, um, join us. Because like I said, this is, this is very, very fun and very interesting so far. We've seen two really good historical sites so far. Um, the uh, home of Alice Paul, right here in Mount Laurel, which was the first video, and now the Carranza Memorial and Tabernacle. Okay, Dan, did you want to add anything else in? Uh, all right, as always, thank you guys so much for watching our videos and for joining us. Um, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, we would really love that. Um, you would get the notices and all of the videos right up front as we, as we post them. All right, well, thank you again, and we will see you in the next video somewhere in New Jersey.